I think we need wine at this point. Cabin marker? That's wine. Oh, yeah. Right. Hi, welcome to Movie Phone. I'm Hugh Jackman, and this is Sir Patrick Stewart. Hello. Yes. I mean, most people call him Patrick, but he makes me call him Sir Patrick. It's Only a, once, and then let it go. <laughs> we're here to talk about our new movie, Logan. Uh, we're going to answer a few questions that you guys sent in, and also there are some unscripted questions. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm going to start. Cool with it? Okay. Uh, this is from at CJ Verg on Instagram. Compared to the other times you played him, what makes playing Professor X in Logan so special for you? Oh, this is so easy. I get carried in his arms for significant portions of the movie. Like and the whole baby. world is envious. <laughs> and you're light as a feather, my friend. Actually, you were very light. I lost 20 pounds just for you, Hugh. Is it back? Excuse me. I Doesn't look like it. And that's okay. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> um, but it did not, is it, did it all go back or no? Uh, a few pounds have gone back. Uh, right. Thanks to my wife's she urging. Wanted, yeah. Right. But uh, it's, it's all going to go again. This is from uh, Jessenica on Instagram. What did you take away as both an actor mm. and as a person playing Logan all these years? What did you take away? I assume it from the experience. Oh, yeah. Not, uh, not the memorabilia that I need. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm going to be living on for the next 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm going to take... I'm going to take you back, Jesse, to the very first one because my dream as an actor... Um, going to a drama school in Sydney, uh, in Perth, actually, in Australia. One of my dreams was to work with Ian McKellen, Patrick Stewart, Judy Dench at the Royal Shakespeare Company. Come on. I swear to you. I actually, there's an, and a photo of me outside the Cottesloe Theatre once, like one day, that was like the end of first year uh, at the National Theatre because we watched the John Barton tapes and I, everyone else sort of watched one or two, and then I went into the library and watched them religiously, and I remember your Shylock to the, you and David Suchet, one back-to-back, -back, right, doing your versions. The dueling Shylocks. And I, it was so incredible to me, but not just the way you did it, Shakespeare, but the spirit of creativity, of exploration. You could tell you were just like being thrown stuff. You had pages and it was, I just loved that. I was like, no, they're real actors. And so that was my dream. But when I... Honestly, when my wife said to me, you can't do this part, she was reading the sides with me, I'm going for the audition. She goes, Hugh, what's this? You've got claws coming out of your hands? You're at the Royal National Theatre, you're doing Oklahoma with Trevor Nunn? Well, this is ridiculous. I said, well, yeah. it's yeah. Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen are in. I can't be that bad. I mean, yeah. And so that's why I went for it. And so I'm giving you a long answer. But honestly, the people, we really did become very good friends. I worked with some amazing actors and some amazing directors. This last film, seven. 17 years later, is for me the most personal. It, I knew it was going to be my last one. It was a kind of do or die for me. And it was no mistake that Patrick was there as the, one of the main parts because I really loved working with Patrick, but I also thought that relationship between those two characters, we'd only skimmed the surface over all these years, and it was so exciting to me to actually really dive in. Well, it, it felt to me as though actually that had all been just preparatory work for what right. we've been doing in Logan. Uh, okay. This is one of my own. Yeah. Um, when you're taking a road trip, Hugh, because there yes. is a road trip element to our movie, yes. and you need the bathroom. Yes. What kind of stop, what kind of venue would you be on the lookout for for the best sort of bathroom? Oh, side of the road. I'm a side of the road guy. Oh, no hang problem. on, you're Australian. I'm Australian. <laughs> no, I have very low standards Great. for the stop, good. although a good gas station. I worked in a gas station for four years. Did you really? I did, what so trust me, I have, it's it, still there, that gas station. But what did, happened to that career? Were you fired? Yeah, no, I just wasn't very good at you it. You walked away from it? I walked away. I know, can you believe it? Stupid. You, you could be Mr. Shell. What, what are you like for like at a road trip? Um, like when was the last road trip you took? Uh, the, the last road trip I took was at Christmas time when, with my wife, I drove from Los Angeles to Reno, Nevada, really? which is where she is from and her yeah. family live, in a car. I 
shouldn't mention the make of the car, but I'm a, a driving fanatic. I love uh, to be on the road. I've even raced a little uh, bit, and this is a high-performance vehicle. And uh, we were supposed to share the driving, and I don't recall Sonny ever getting behind the wheel of the right. car at all. I was having such a good time. Um, uh, can, I, can I advertise Wendy's? Excellent bathrooms. Really? Yeah. Wendy's, yeah. have mm. you ever doubted? This happened to me two years ago. It's the first time it happened. Um, I didn't. I was driving in Sydney, so it was suburbs, and I was in, caught in a really bad traffic jam, and I had to do the old bottle trick. I've done it. Done it. Oh, yeah. Been there, done well, that. Well, there we are. The world now knows That's that we it. have peed into bottles in That's our cars. <laughs> <laughs> Even superheroes I pee into bottles. Yeah, and I don't think it, that in <laughs> any way reduces the impact that we're going to have in this movie. <laughs> but nobody will be thinking of that when they're watching us. This is unscripted. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if they made an adult X-Men film, what would your character's name be? Mm. Roger. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Sir, you... Sir Roger. Oh, no, just Roger. I like it to be plain, <laughs> simple, and have a kind of active element about uh, that's it. That's very good. Well, I'm going to go a verb as well. I'm going to go with my real name, Huge Ackman. Uh. <laughs> That is known, how this gentleman is known, by the way. <laughs> From Marlon D on Facebook, who would you like to see play Logan Wolverine after you? Yeah. But there is going to be no Logan. Logan what? <laughs> Logan. I'm saying it's been a long it's day. Logan, yeah, it has. <laughs> there will be. Anyway. Yeah, you know there will be. You know there will be. In time. Yeah. But not. In you know what shop. someone floated to me today? Like, everyone's been like, who will be the next Logan or Wolverine, etc.? And this journalist said, however, this film may present the most perfect segue for that lineage in the younger generation. Mm -hmm. Could you see that happening? I mean, I can definitely see the fans going crazy. I, I think crazy that's almost inevitable. For Laura. So maybe that's fills that void. And yes. then eventually there'll be someone, yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's almost inevitable. Yeah. And we will cheer them on. Yeah, or when my career's in the toilet and I, I come back. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of toilet do you imagine <laughs> being in? Not a bottle. Of course, I've already <laughs> got that. I mean, thanks to James, um, James, what's his name? Yeah, McDonald yeah. or something like that. Uh, He's already taken over from me. And despite the fact that he has a head full of hair. Right. Damn it. Damn it. How many times has he played it? Three? You? Uh, what, I, I mean, too many. At? What I are think, you at? What am I at? I think I'm at six, six. Because I did do a little tiny yeah. appearance in the first Wolverine movie. That's Ian right. and I did a scene in an airport the first time That's that I worked right. with That's right, James, James Mangold. That's right. From Sarah G on Facebook, what kind of movie would you love to do with you, with me, outside of the X-Men franchise? Can I change the nature of the question? Yeah. And say, it's not a movie, uh, but it is... Uh, a stage production. Can we? You know what it is, don't you? Because I brought this up with you before. Yeah, remind me again. No. And I want to know, when we do. are you going to play Sweeney Todd? Ah, yes. Oh, man. You, come on. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I really want to play that at some point. You're and, right. And you must. I mean, yeah. I mean, Sondheim, I swear, Sondheim had you in mind when he wrote that movie. And I've, uh, I've made a promise to you that if you will play Sweeney, Yes, I will play the judge to you. So it's good. a small supporting role, and I'll only do it for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and no mat notes. <laughs> and no mat notes. But three shows a week. Yeah, yeah. You're there. But, but, uh, Deal. Th and remember, you heard it first. It's right on here. camera. I love that idea. Okay, Hugh, this is unscripted. What has been the most emotional scene for you to film out of all the X-Men films? The most emotional. I think probably the scene, I'm, some of the scenes with you in this, I was very emotional about it, even though, I don't know, I found them very, it's very moving to me because of the history that we'd had and the fact we got to run in the paddock in this one. I mean, that first scene we shoot is not necessarily, I, I found it very emotional. I cried watching the film mm -hmm. of me carrying up the stairs. I don't know what it was. I mean, I was... I was crying at the time because you're so bloody heavy, but I'm <laughs> I was 150 it's pounds. All muscle, that's that true. Time. I know, but I'm, I'm not the man I used to be. <laughs> no, and the, the scene near the end, I think, you know, that 
I love that line I say to, um, to Laura, uh, to Daphne's character, don't be what they made you. It's a great, oh, yes. simple line. And I love the line you say to me, someone was quoting it to me today. Of course, I know you, it's just sometimes I don't recognize you. Is yeah, that it? It's I, a brilliant I know line. who you are, but yes. sometimes I don't recognize yes. you. Yeah. God, you know, I, I, it's such a brilliant line because it, it, it's both um, mysterious and yet at the same time, we have that feeling about some of our nearest and dearest. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know you are, but sometimes I don't recognize you. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> From Anthony P on Facebook, would you rather do another movie playing Professor X or have one last chance to play Captain Picard? This is a good question. Yeah, it's an excellent question. I have given this some thought, not this particular question, but over the years I've given it some thought. What I'm looking forward to is a movie where Captain Picard meets, <laughs> meets Professor X. Can't you see it? I mean, I mean, okay, you've got that scene where James McAvoy as Professor X meets right. Patrick Stewart as Professor X. That will fade into <laughs> obscurity compared to Picard and Professor X face to face. Perfect. Okay. Who wins in that fight? Professor X. Well, there would be no fight ah. because both of them are against violence. Really? They would never allow any confrontation really? to dissolve into violence. Really? Yeah. Even if both of you had the same love interests and it was this torrid battle for the ah, heart of a woman. You mean if Ian McKellen came between us? <laughs> <laughs> that Ian McKellen. From Annie H on Facebook, what was your training like for mm. Old Man Logan versus the previous movies? Great question. Really good question. It was slightly different because Jim didn't want me in the exact same shape. Sure. Um, I, I came in with an idea of being a little more wasted away um, and then Jim was like, eh, I don't think that's going to work. You want to see him not in the peak of health. So it was kind of perfect because I did the same. In my head, I was doing the same thing, but I was probably just cheating a little more. Basically having a few more drinks. You know drinks. what? I, I, I'll tell you. It's here. This, this is where it happens. The, the, the wasting that maybe James yeah. was talking about is... Not just in the features that yes. you have, but what's going on inside as well. Totally. That's where you look wasted. Yeah. And it's beautiful. I was really, beautiful. I, you know, what happened in this movie, I don't know why, if it was our schedule or because we're on the road, and I had a lot less sleep. I was genuinely really tired. Uh, and um, That'll do it. Really helped, actually, with this. Mm -hmm. I, I never said, oh, guys, I need my turnaround. I kind of almost welcomed it, like, all right, let's just push, because somehow having that to go up against the next day. Yeah. Um, the last action sequence we did was at 9,000 feet in Charma. And there was one take where I actually passed out. <laughs> I fainted. I thought I'd tripped. I would found myself on the ground. I, thought, oh. I said, oh, let me do one more. Sorry, I tripped. And uh, Garrett, our second unit director, goes, ah, oh, mate, no, no, no. No, you passed out, Jen. He said, let's call it a day. No, you shouldn't be doing too much action at 9,000 feet. Right. <laughs> it makes a big difference. But then when I went back home, as soon as we filmed, I felt like I could run forever. It's uh, like the greatest. Yes. I went for a run. I was like, yeah. Ooh. Matt N on Facebook. Uh, okay. If Logan were Thelma and Louise, yeah. who would be Thelma and who would be Louise? Okay. Oh, do you remember? I'm going to say Sarandon. Which, which? I was actually going to plump for Sarandon. Um, for you, for yeah. For so Logan you, or for me? For, oh, me, for you. For, for me. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But let's. I think what's more interesting is in real life. This man, look at his boots. He's actually a true rock star. Like, no, I'm gonna get a little sentimental because apart from being one of the greatest actors I know, I think if there is a class for the art of living, you are at the top of anyone I've ever met. You really are. And I ask you, you notice this, I ask you a lot of questions, details about your day. Mm -hmm. And you'd always tell me because you've worked out the art of living, I would say better than anyone. I mean that. Yeah, I mean, come on, show these boots. This guy's a Frickin' rock star, look at that. Just look, man. It's yeah, always well, a little something, a little yeah, panache, a little... But we're in the early stages of promoting this movie, and I, I have to say to you, if I may tap you on the knee... Anytime. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> this one's, I'm going to be the one crying. I have stuff lined up. That <laughs> Please let me go home. Blow your mind. <laughs> so get on to your stylist Woo! right now. There is competition afoot. I'm not just talking clothes. I'm talking too. experiences. I have a feeling it's just going to be two weeks, no sleep. We're going to be it's like it's. We're going to party like it's we the are '80s. Very, very. Lucky. We're, going to, we're going to party like it's the RSC back in those early oh, days. RSC. Really? It's watching the dawn come up. Or yeah, right. Look out. <laughs> so, Hugh, thank you.
Pleasure, man. And uh, thanks to Moviephone for yep. having us here. Yeah. And uh, thanks to all of you for watching. Yep. And laughing, if you have laughed. <laughs> and sympathizing, if that's how you feel about us. And getting through and, to the um, end. Getting through we, to this point. Yeah, Thank you for yeah. sticking with us. And what do we wish for? We wish that they will all... Go and see the movie. Logan. I'll tell you. Oh, sorry. And world peace. So world peace and please enjoy the movie. Okay. That's an excellent choice. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs>